Hi there, Top Tip Tuesday time again, Bob here from Insidium. And on today's video, we're going to be simulating this variable viscosity setup where we have got hot, runny particles, which then become cold and more gloopy, but then become hot again when they get into contact with the hot ones. So this is really cool. It uses Nexus Question. It uses Nexus Blend to do some GPU simulating of this effect. So let's jump into cinema and we'll begin. In our scene then we've got this animated emitter here and it's firing out these particles and we've got a couple of bits of collision geometry, this X and our floor plane. Let's just make those invisible. We don't need to look at those now. And we've got this kind of very thick viscous sim going on. We've all, almost made this too thick and gloopy because we're going to be mapping that a bit later. So what we've got is a Nexus Gravity on 300. We've got a Nexus Fluids, SPH mode. We've increased this smoothing radius because this will actually kind of reduce splashy detail. And in this instance, that's what we want. Um, so we've increased that to 150, sub steps up to eight. And then we're getting the gloopiness from our Nexus Constraints object. We've got a viscosity layer and it's set to these settings to give us a really quite stiff viscous fluid so what we're going to do is we're going to play around with uh, animating particle color to create this melting effect this hot and cold so what i'm going to do is just delete this nexus color modifier we don't need that because we're going to be animating the particle color to get this hot and cold effect so what we're going to do is first of all create a couple of particle groups one for the hot particles and one for the cold so let's go to our emitter groups i'm going to hold control and click create add group twice once twice and particle group one let's put it at the top this one will rename it uh, group hot and group two is going to be uh, cold okay and then in the emitter groups tab we're going to put all of the particles when they're born into the first group into hot so they're born hot okay so we're going to move particles between groups to make them hot or cold let's go to nexus question that's how we're going to control this move so let's bring that in and in our question we're going to first of all we're going to say um, when they get moved into group two we want them to to be cold and our cold color is going to be black so let's just set that up first so i'm going to click a new question if the particle and we want the group equals group two which is the cold group then do something and i want that thing to be set the color to black Okay, if I hit play, nothing's going to happen because all the particles are in the hot group. That's where they're born and we haven't moved them yet. So they're all just still uh, still white. All right. So now let's go back into our question and set up what the next bit is going to be. And that's going to be actually the changing of groups. So let's bring in a new question. Now, there's various different ways of doing this. You could make it much more accurate if you did it. Uh, if they started cooling dependent on how old they were uh, but that's going to require a, actually a more complex question setup and I want to keep this relatively simple so we're going to do it the most basic way is just using how fast the particles are traveling so what we're going to say is if the particle speed uh, where is it speed is less than say 25 centimeters then move them into group to the cold group so i'm just going to go to my actions and i'm going to say set not the color but the group to group cold okay and i want this to be a constant process so if they're going under 25 i want them to be put into group too cold but then if they get splashed and start moving quickly again i want them to then be put back into the hot group into group one so the way i can do that let's just hold control and click that to come off it i can just do one more question um not an action a question bring it below and this one says if the speed is less than 25 do this and then i can set this one to an else question so if the speed's that send them to cold otherwise put them into group one so let's just copy this action put it there and instead of it being group cold let's put group hot 
So this is just every frame constantly asking the question, if the particle is going less than 25, put it in the cold group, otherwise put it in the hot group. So they're switching groups all the time, dependent on their speed. So now if we hit play, you'll see that when these particles slow down, yes, look, they're getting put into group two and they're turning black, brilliant. Then if they get knocked and they start moving quickly again, they get put back into group one, but there's no actual color change for getting put back into group one, so we can't see that. So we're gonna to have to sort that in a minute. But I want this change to black to be a bit less, uh, a bit less abrupt. So what we can do is go to that first one that was setting the color here, look. It's setting it to black, but we can just reduce the weight so it's a bit more of a fade to black from white to black. Let's have a look. Now, this should not be an abrupt change to black. Yeah, more of a fade. You can see it going gray. And look, if I lower it even more, it'll just make that fade less and less abrupt. Uh, here we go. Let's just start from the beginning. And yes, yeah, so that's fading to black. Okay. Cool. Now, what we could do is we could set up another question and action here that says, if they're in group one, set the color to white. And so they're constantly going from white to black, hot to cold when they're swapping groups. But we can get a cooler effect if instead of doing that setting to white, we use a blend modifier. So what I'm going to do is bring in a blend modifier here. And what I'm going to do with a blend is I'm going to set the mode to additive mode so that's only going to make the particles lighter. And what it's saying is each particle is going to look in a distance of 15 centimeters of itself and it's going to add any color value. So get brighter and brighter and brighter. And I want this to be on absolute full whack, 1000%. So now if a black particle is touched with a by a white particle, it will then become white because we're adding to its color so it's melting again it's getting hot again so you can see here that these look these bits that were black have started to become white again but then they're cooling because they're getting put back into group one look they become white again because they're melted but then they've solidified and this is how we get this heating cooling heating cooling excellent so the last thing we need to do now we've got this cool kind of cyclical color change going on all we need to do now is go to our constraints that's controlling how gloopy this is and say that black particles get full stiffness really gloopy but white hot particles shouldn't be gloopy at all and we do that by mapping this stiffness value to the color of the particles so let's go to the mapping tab we're going to add a color brightness map. So the category we want to map are the viscosity constraints. That's the only constraints we're using. The parameter we want to map the color to is the stiffness parameter. And what we have got is color on the bottom, black to white. And we've got stiffness on this Y. No stiffness, full stiffness. So what we're saying is the black particles want to have full stiffness value, white particles, no stiffness value. Let's pull it in a bit and then let's just kind of make that quite abrupt fall off. So they're really, really stiff and then it falls off. So now our white particles should be able to slosh around more easily because they're not as viscous and then they'll start solidifying and getting gloopy and sticking, but then they'll melt and become more sloshy as they come into contact with the hot and then they'll cool and solidify and it keeps going and keeps going and we get this really nice kind of variable viscosity look of particles melting and heating and melting and heating very nice indeed